which uses the other function. So may I come in? Yes. Thank you, sir. Morning, sir. Morning, sir. Please have your seat. Thank you, sir. Ravi Kumar. Yes, sir. Ravi, have you developed any symptoms of the COVID? No, sir. Up until now, I have not developed any symptoms. So the distance is safe. You can take yes, the mask for a clarity of expression. Okay, sir. Ravi. Yes, sir. Without making any direct or indirect references, to your religion, region, caste, gender, or creed, introduce yourself to the board in terms of the values and virtues that you hold very dear. Yes, go on. Sir, I'm, uh, my name is Ravi Kumar. Uh, I am an enthusiastic person. I am the person who likes to explore things more. I've explored multiple fields. Uh, field of art, field of engineering and others. I like challenges and uh, I also like uh, uh, the op I also like uh, the zone of uh, pushing myself up for the opportunity that anything that comes forward to. Um, and my, my interest lies in guitar. Uh, my, my current interest lies in guitar and roller skating. Are you aware about Aditya Alwan? Yes sir. Name is Ravi. Does yes. that have any connection with the name Aditya? Sir, Ravi is a synonym to Sun, and Aditya Elvan is a project that India is. It is India's first pro project uh, focused on Sun, where we are going to put a specific instrument at L1 position. Mm -hmm. And what is that position? Sir, L1 is a Lagrange position. That position, uh, sir, so that position has a specific. Uh, specific uh, quality uh, features such as I'm not so sure about it but if you allow me I can make an intelligent guess sir I think it is at a very safe distance from the sun through from where from where its uh, features can be analyzed such as uh, the solar wind that that are emanating from it the magnetic qualities of uh, the sun and so forth what's the difference really between solar winds and solar flares I'm sorry, sir. I'm not aware of it. Are you aware about the average temperature of photosphere? Sir, it is roughly around 6000 uh, degree centigrade. Degree centigrade or Fahrenheit? Sir, I think it is degree centigrade. Uh, your, you celebrate your birthday on 14th of July. Yes, sir. Can you tell me the significance of this date in world history? Sir, 14th of July has many incidents which are remarkable in the history. One such is the French Revolution started on this specific day when the Bastille prison was being thrown open uh, by the revolutionaries of uh, French Revolution. Another more significant which in my opinion is also very very important in, uh, incident that happened on this day was the collaboration of two of the elites of their own specific field. One was Rabindranath Tagore and another one was Albert Einstein. They came together, they met and they talked about the ever uh, growing uh, clashes between religion and uh, rationality of the science. So, sir. We talked about French Revolution. Yes, sir. What idea of French Revolution has the largest acceptance today in India? That in many ideas emanated from the French Revolution? Yes, sir. According to your view. Which of those idea or ideas find greatest acceptance today amongst the masses in this land? Sir, in my opinion, there are three more three most important values that were emanating from that place that were incorporated in Indian India, in Indian society. They were uh, first one was liberalization, uh, liberal, li liberal. Another one is equality, and the last one is also brotherhood. Yes. These were also incorporated in our constitution. If Correct. you have to choose one between liberty, equality and fraternity, yes, one, what will you choose and why? Sir, if I have to choose one, I would go for equality uh, over liber 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 liberty. 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 Sorry, sir. So, I would choose equality 
why uh, is why being asked sir this is important equality comes before liberty because the first and foremost goal of of a nation should be to provide equality for having a social welfare in the society it is kind of course it is not a prerequisite for liberty but it is in my opinion is more important than liberty however liberty can be brought into with a phased manner uh, because if we are if we go for liberty without equality then that would uh, that would entail uh, the rule of few who were being advantaged by that specific feature uh, against other people who are disadvantaged so equality would be my my preference sir. what is the difference between equality and equity sir equity uh, equity is a term which refers to the distribution of any resource where we are talking about the equal distribution of a specific resource uh, whereas equality is more of a philosophy uh, which entails many uh, regions two specific regions that indian constitution talks also talks about is equality before law and equal protection of law so it's kind of more of a philosophy and that is more on the side of the distribution of equality. when the state makes some certain programs for the welfare of the divya the state is focusing on which aspect of equality sir uh, may i ask you for the clarity are you talking about me about the divyang people yeah you okay. understand what are who are divyangs sir uh, the especially able people especially able people yes, so sir? if the state makes some specific programs for yes, their sir. upliftment economic empowerment social welfare or in some you can say for their general welfare so the state is focusing on which aspect of equality sir i can make an intelligent guess about it sir in my opinion it is equality before law that we are uh, we are going for equality before law or equal protection of law sir as far as i know equal protection of law would mean that like should be treated like uh, like should be treated like so yes sir if we draw from that conclusion it should be equal protection of law sir okay you talked about ravindranath tagore well, yes sir one of your answers you made a good reference to me. what is his conception of state what are his ideas about nation state sir i am not sure about this answer your optional subject is geography yes sir you know tell me something about spatial emancipation have you heard this term i'm sorry spatial sir i'm not aware are you aware about anarchist tendencies in geography Uh, sir i have just bleak idea about it i'm not sure about it uh, the, the, these are the those group of people who 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 promotes the idea of the radical changes uh, that should be brought forward in order to bring more social just more social justice uh, if i can go forward in my opinion these are those people who believe in the radical change of the institutions and all those and all those in order to provide the equitable resource uh, resource distribution and also the social development of the entire society was gandhi ji an anarchist according to you sir so in my opinion he was not an anarchist he was a very scientific guy who talk who first chose constitutional means for protest then he went for the peaceful pro- pro- protest he did not ask it for a violent upro- uh, uprooting of the institutions he demanded that the society should understand the changes that they want to go forward to so you would call him a reformist or a revolutionist sir in my opinion he is more of a reformist than a revolutionist because his major focus was to reform the people because according to his idea even if we get rid of the britishers from indian land indian soil that does, that would not mean the true freedom of the country the true freedom will only come when the entire society will Uh, will not be uh, ruled by others if the if the british leave the vacuum okay do you understand what is a primate city do you understand the concept of primate city yes sir primate city is a city which has grown disproportionately disproportionately from the other regions in a settlement complex so so do you think alwar is a primate city sir in my opinion alwar would not be classified as a primate city because 
so because it has many other comparable size of the city uh, in the nearby region of itself only in rajasthan only for example jaipur dosa these cities are also having very high economic uh, social economic activities being going on so calling it a private city i don't think that ir- the disproportionality lies so so much that we can call it a private city if we have to choose between aptitude and attitude what should we choose and why according to you sir according to me aptitude should have been given prior sorry attitude should have been given priority over aptitude because sir uh, the aptitude is something that that is innate to us for example if a if a specific person is good in maths he would do good in math however uh, aptitude attitude is something that he starts to grow uh, he starts to develop as he grow so even if a person is very good in some aptitude and his attitude lies in a negative connotation then that would be very severe that would be very harmful for our society one of the greatest example that we can take is hitler hitler has one of the best attitude aptitude uh, regarding uh, the military organization regarding what should be done and he is one of the best decision maker that society has seen but his attitude towards the society was highly negative uh, so sir my idea would be to go for the attitude and not for the aptitude what are the present problems that you see that are ingrained that stem from bureaucratic attitude sir a bureaucratic attitude uh, entails you understand by this word bureaucratic attitude is this a positive word or is it a negative word it is used in what context sir it is a negative uh, word uh, which is used uh, to show the in the in gr- in grown attitude of the bureaucrats which make them feel that they are somehow above the society and which make them somehow believe that they are the one who are providing the society it is not the service that they are doing it is something that they are doing which is bigger than the cause so it is that uh, that attitude the but this has multiple uh, multiple issues for example the the very the core of this the of the services that we are the servant of the people we are not someone who rule the people uh, if we if like i become an is officer or any other person for that matter or any other officer for that matter so my first job would be to facilitate the people in order to so that they can realize the rights that they have they can enjoy the freedom they can enjoy the schemes that are allotted to them and so on and so forth so a bureaucratic attitude entails those problems in it other such problem would be to delay the uh, things the schemes that are already implementing and the final problem i would say is uh, is the idea of higher than the other people that they are serving for do you understand the meaning of the word justice yes sir what is justice yes sir if you are given choice to prefer one over the other what will you prefer between justice and integrity you have to make a choice what will be your choice you defend your choice so in my opinion i will go for justice and i would try to modify a little bit of integrity if justice is at the sake uh, the reason being the core of this uh, of any service should be to provide the services to the people and if i can if i understand that through a little bit of modification to my uh, to my integrity i can provide larger service to the justice larger sir justice to the people that is more important especially if uh, the justice is is certain and it is immediate because in my opinion uh, a justice delayed is also a justice denied so for me uh, justice would come first if i have to compromise one of them which kind of justice you pulled as the highest form of justice there are different types of justice which form of justice you pulled as the highest form of justice sir i am not aware of many justices i am just aware of social justice where uh, you thought about distributive justice sir i have heard about it but i am not so sure about it ravi <coughs> yes sir your mail id interests me ravi ravi Yes, sir. Ravi, I can understand, but what is Ravi Ravi? Sir, uh, this idea I made when I was in sixth or seventh class. Uh, during that time, uh, multiple shows used to come in Discovery Channel. 
regarding the armed forces of of other nations uh, like us europe and other people and uk and other countries uh, largely they will uh, they will feature the people who are from the marine forces of their own specific countries i was fascinated by that a lot i also wished to join some of them when i was kid uh, not understanding the difficulties that it has that they do not allow any other per, any other country or something so this was a, an innocent uh, uh, want to make something unique of my uh, mail id so i made ravi marine 14 so did you by any chance ever attempt uh, to go to the different services yes sir as a matter of fact uh, in 2019 i attempted for uh, central armed police forces okay. yes sir so that is the only attempt that i have made for different services that is actually a police force sir so that is a police you try for the different services nda or uh, the no sir i have not attempted i have i went for ssb uh, though i went for the act- for the interview also however i was be- i was i i was disqualified on the second day only so you went for ssb yes sir which is you know sir it was uh, in t- in 10th class ssb not i think it is in 8th class sir no so what it must be nd Sir, I'm not sure. Eight class, it was just been eight class. Sir, it was in tenth or it was in eight. I think it is in tenth. Uh, I went for SSB uh, where four to five days of camp that happens, and I was just qualified on the second day only. You come from Alwar. Yes, sir. Okay. Tell me something about Alwar. The place fascinates me. Sir, Alwar is actually a very culturally vibrant city. It has multiple heritage sites. Uh, it, has, it, has, it has also like forts, uh, many temples which are very very famous. Aravalli is very very green at that part of uh, Rajasthan. I've seen Aravalli in multiple other districts also, but in but uh, it, I've not seen it as green as uh, there. That is in Alwar, and uh, Alwar is also very uh, very good tourist attractive for force. Recently, there are many economic activities going on. It it is developing as economic also because it lies at the center point between Jaipur and Delhi, which are the two biggest cities which which can be there in the neighborhood of it. So, sir, uh, it is really growing very very good. Yeah, I've heard that uh, in Alwar there is something called as haman uh, that takes place every year to avoid the rains coming in to stop the rains. Is it true? Sir, I have not heard of any such thing. How did Alwar get its name? So there are multiple theories how Alwar got its name. My source being Wikipedia, it says three different uh, theories. Uh, out of which I believe most possible, most possible is sir, uh, there was there was a tribe called Salwar that used to live around there only. So uh, some people say Salwar also came from the Aravalli region in which it lives. So Salwar became Salwarpur, Salwar, and then. it became alwar uh, this is also uh, uh, this is also recognized by law cunningham there was a, a surveyor of uh, british era time so this is also accepted by him also okay your date of birth is is 14th of july yes sir and uh, you love playing guitar yes sir right do you share your birthday with any musical person Sorry, sir. I am not aware of it. Is it that the Russian was born on the same day? You also said uh, your hobby is hockey. Sir, hockey is one of my hobby. Now there was uh, a person, a very important person, captain of the Indian uh, hockey team, women's hockey team, who shares uh, the birthday with you. Oh, you have any idea? I'm sorry, sir. I don't have idea of it. Ray Maya Sony he was the captain Prima. of the Indian hockey team also he was member of the 83 Asian Cup Asian Games uh, gold medalist team oh okay Ray Nagar yes sir this is current location good good name <laughs> thank you sir your father's name is Mr Pralap Singh yes sir right and uh, it's associated with uh, a different 
sort of a prayer there. The name Prahlad. What was that? Sir, uh, I think you are referring to the uh, the love of Bhakt Prahlad, which is in Indian mythology to the god, and uh, which was also who was also miraculously saved, accord uh, against uh, the vicious plan of uh, Holika, who kind who tried to uh, plan of Holika of his father who uh, who appo who appointed his sister. So, uh, sir, that is love of. God that my father, and apparently my father also like believe in in that story <laughs> to dear. Okay, you said uh, hockey is your uh, hobby. Yes, sir. Uh, tell me something about uh, Dhanraj Pillai. Sir, Dhanraj Pillai uh, was was, was very unique about him. So I'm not aware of uh, the unique about him, but uh, but uh, when I was very very kid, I a lot of highlights of the matches which featured him used to come on national television, and he he's one of the most he was one, he is uh, an icon uh, who who started to revisit uh, to recalibrate Indian cricket uh, Indian hockey team, which it used to be during the time of 1936, 1928, and those Olympics. He is also one of uh, the uh, role model of Sandeep Singh, who on whose uh, who is also known as the uh, flicker, the Indian flicker, uh, drag. drag flicker, yes, sir. Okay. He is participated in four Olympics, four World Cup, four Champions Trophy, four Asian Games. Are you aware of that? Thanrajpuri, sir. I'm not sure. He is also the first Thanrajpuri uh, award. Oh, right. And uh, any other player that you are aware of who participated in uh, four Olympics in hockey? Sir, I am aware of a person who appeared for three Olympics. Uh, his name is the mag the magician of hockey. Uh, but uh, sir, I if if I am not I am not so sure about it. But his brother was also uh, also played alongside with him, Roop Singh. And uh, sir, he went for one Olympic ahead of the 1936. After the 1936, the Olympics held in 1948 because of the two world war that got stalled. So uh, I think he featured in that also. But uh, specifically, any other any person who has featured in four Olympics, I'm not sure about it, sir. Dhanraj Pillai and uh, Dhanjan. Dhanraj Pillai and Dhanjan. Anybody who won three gold medals at hockey Olympics? Sir, Dhyanchand has made. He has. He is. He is being the part of the team who has won three consecutively gold. Uh, yes. 1938, 1938, 1936. Um, I'm not sure about. Piercing. Piercing. I'm not sure about it, sir. You also said something about. Uh, Hobby uh, being uh, inline roller skating. Yes, sir. Now, what is the difference between inline roller skating and quad roller skating? Sir, quad roller skating is the one where there are two lanes of uh, of wheels where, where the wheels lie on the either side of the of the foot. Whereas inline roller skating is the is the one where all the four lay, four wheels lie in the same line. How many wheels are there? Sir, it depends. Uh, the one that I uses is the four wheel. Uh, some people also use three wheels, and specifically those people who do a little bit of freestyle uh, inline roller skating, they use this too because it allows better maneuverability and a little bit more speed that is necessary to have. Probably there is a form of inline roller skating. It's a very new concept in India, as such. It's not very complicated. So it is not common, but uh, during my th second and third classes, I always wanted to. Uh, I, I, I was Big fond of my cohort skates that I always had, and I wanted to go for one step ahead. So the one step ahead, in my father's opinion, was an inline skating only. So he got me there during my third classes, and uh, yes, it is a little bit riskier because of the speed that it provides, but it is more fun to maneuver with it. Do you play any other games? So I play table tennis also. Uh, cricket has I've been playing cricket for a long time. <laughs> so I didn't ask any questions about cricket in any case. 
uh, sir, I'm not an ardent follower of the cricket, but I play cricket. Uh, these days, I'm playing uh, table tennis. But what is your view about uh, IPL as uh, does it help you to give up cricket or does you think it has uh, helped you financially give up? Sir, as you have said, IPL is one of the most financial uh, event that happens. Uh, because of the amount of money that it sponsors, the money that it gives to the players. However, uh, the the intrinsic thing that it provides also is a big platform to the regional players. So the regional players get an opportunity, uh, a little bit of exposure uh, to play with the international level of players. For example, if we take any team, it is it is kind of a mandate to provide some Indian lead, Indian players also. There is a restriction on the number of international players that you can take on. So, overall, it is a very good uh, uh, a very good way through which the, the national and more regional talent is being recognized. However, the finance part uh, is going a little ahead of the other games. So, it may be a little bit irrational. So, we can try to look forward to have uh, some rational spending on this event. Especially at a time in COVID-19 when we require a little more finance also. If we can source it through the other organizations, it would be a good way. Sorry. Yes, sir. Is betting legal in India, Sorry. Sir, betting, uh, I think betting is not Ill illegal, it is not legal. However, I, I know that there are multiple applications which are uh, using the betting as a field uh, to, to get more and more viewers. So, in that context, I would say that of course they would have been doing it legally. So, betting would have been legal. Do you think government is contradicting itself by allowing such kind of apps? On one hand, yes, the government sir. says betting is illegal. Yes, sir. But uh, nowadays, in last four five years, there are multiple apps which have been developed. Yes, sir. And they institutionalize betting as such. Yes, sir. So don't you think government is contradicting itself by doing such kind of apps, permitting such kind of apps? Sir, in my opinion, it is not a contradiction of on the government's part because government is allowing uh, the private dev app developers to play their role and all and it. Is, and it, there are certain uh, terms and conditions that the, those applications comes with. They 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 even have to make some precautions over the amount that can be uh, that can be betted on. For example, uh, the application MPL, it has the highest restriction of uh, I'm not sure, but I think it's around one leg that a person can bet on a specific, on one game at one time. So there are definitely restrictions on it. Yes, it can be argued can that. You such kind of Sir, I've never been a part of such type of a game, but one of my friend used to, uh, one of my friend used to bet on this application. How will you create such apps on moral compass? Well, morally, is it or moral ethically, is, are they good for the society or not? Sir, uh, to this I would like to come to a conclusion after understanding two, three more more facets. For ex first one being would be the freedom of the people to to do what they wish to do with the finance that they hold however this is not absolute it does not mean that they should uh, bet their entire uh, property or something and then go forward to it second thing i would say is sir uh, it looks more of a luck kind of a thing but as i have observed from my friends it is all it is not just luck it is the way you analyze the performance of the players that, that you are playing. Of course, a specific game has uh, the, the players who are in form uh, who are in form, and the players who are out of the form. So, if you try to be a little bit uh, anal analytical about it, you will find it that it is not just luck. So, so you will need to see what I understand it from your point of view. Yes, sir. That uh, as it limits the amount you can bet. Yes, sir. So, it is not that bad. Right? Sir, it is not that bad. However, it depends upon the personal, per, a specific person, person to person. For example, I would not be entertaining any such money that I would be getting. Uh, any other person, if he has a good amount of finance and if he is in a condition where he can analyze the situation. If you have a decision making power. Yes, sir. To allow or ban such apps, what will you do? Sir. Allow or ban? Only one option. Sir, what will you do? Sir, I will not ban such apps. So, you will allow such apps? Sir, I will allow such apps, of course, with some terms and conditions, but I will allow such applications. Okay. Ravi, uh, you bought Indian Railway Service, right? 
yes sir last year yes sir so why you are not joining me? sir i have joined the services uh, i am on in eol oh. i have joined the services so you are planning to go ahead if you are not selected for this interview after this sir if i am not selected with this interview i will be attempting other attempts also but i will be going forward with them with my job so i will be attempting with the job only good yes. so your birthplace is kharida village right it's kharida village sir how do you pronounce it kharida 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 tell me something about that village a brief history geography sir it's a small fortitude type of a place mm-hmm. which is not a big fort it's a small fortified type of place which has come up because of the significance of the religious place that it and that it has of the, of the local god called bhairu baba uh this is it it used to be one of the biggest religious attraction in the local region however that has in these days have gone down and especially after corona it has gone down. what about economy of kharida sir it is purely uh, an agricultural uh, village however some eco- other eco- manufacturing units do exist but they are in the, at the outskirts of the village so in p- purely it uh, it has three different different uh, seasons uh, bo- all the three seasons are practiced in my village uh, rabi kharif and uh, jaid uh, uh, this is kind of uh, what astonishing sir going to in your village in rabi season sir in rabi season uh, this time it was a lot of wheat uh, however i have seen three or four years ago it used to be a lot of chane Uh, I'm not uh, grams, grams, a lot of grams. So, sir, it is kind of fascinating to know that in in a in a water stress state of Rajasthan, there is a state there 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 is still a reason where all the three three seasons of the crops are being grown. Okay, it is because of irrigation facility of the country or because of rain. sir it's uh, not irrigation facility we have we, we do not have any big uh, canal or anything going on neither do any of the farmers practice sprinkler system or drip irrigation it's purely because of the amount of rain that it has and the a little bit of higher level of the ground level that it entails however these days we have seen because of the excessive uh, use uh, there is an exhaustion of the aquifer and the lowering of the water table okay. in your village in ravi season yes. wheat is grown right wheat uh, yes sir wheat and gram both yeah. but this year can, can you practice micro irrigation in case of wheat is it possible to use micro irrigation in wheat so it is very much possible however i do not know how technologically advanced we are because uh, i've seen multiple movies also uh, in us region which is uh, which is uh, which is the region of desert the western part of us region which also borders mexico and other part where uh, wheat is grown in a very very large area that uh, reduces the yield but uh, uh, that reduces the per person yield however the output is decent enough because of the big amount of area i've seen uh, that uh, macro irrigation systems like uh, drip irrigation and sprinkler system are being used there i'm not sure about the uh, about the technological advancement do, do we have flood irrigation sir we do flood irrigation a little bit what is that sir what happens is uh, because moisture is very very important so even before sowing of the seed we try to flood the uh, flood the field to a to certain level and keep keep it flooding so that uh, the soil get proper moisture and even during the subsequent uh, irrigation we provide flood irrigation only specifically wheat also gets flood irrigation in my region uh, have you been to alwar I have been, sir. I have been. What is length and breadth of Alwar Fort? Sir, I have no idea about it. No idea. Uh, do you know uh, before 14th century, which uh, dynasty used to occupy that Alwar Fort? Sir, I am not sure about it, but I can make a yes. yes. Sir, uh, it was uh, in my opinion, it was Matasse dynasty which used to rule over there. However, uh, it was during that time only. but if it was it before 14th century or not i'm not sure about it sir they were nikum rajputs have you heard about the term nikum rajputs no sir i've not heard about nikum rajputs any geo historic site you know in rajasthan geo historic site mm. sir one such site is in my own uh, district of rajasthan which is pandupol mm. uh, which is famous for the eruption of the water that uh, comes from the from the mountain uh, 
uh, a specific location is there where there is a hole in the mountain some people say it comes from the mountains rock however if you go for the deep analysis it is not the mountain rock that it comes from it is from the underground because the uh, because the aquifer line goes very very high so it comes out from there uh, yes sir Name uh, lakes near Jaipur. There are around five six lakes na, near Jaipur. Yes, sir. What are they? name there? So one is Sambar Lake, which is on the border of Nagore and Jaipur district. Another one would be Jaisalmer, which is in the district of of Alwar. And sir, I'm aware of these only. No, no, no. I'm sir aware of this. You said Gandhi was a reformer, right? Sir, in my opinion, he was more of a reformer than revolutionist. The revolutionist. So, some section of historians say that Gandhi deliberately ignored social reforms. Deliberately, such as caste system. Yes, sir. Gandhi ji did not wanted uh, to completely annihilate black caste. Yes. Sir. Like what Ambedkar Ambedkar wanted. Yes. Sir, what is it? Sir, uh, as you have rightly mentioned, uh, B. R. Ambedkar was towards annihilation of caste, whereas Gandhi ji supported caste. The Gandhi ji's concept of caste was based more on the occupational efficiency. Uh, according to him, a caste, uh, like different uh, type of people, uh, people in a society belong to different caste based on their occupation. Uh, uh, so, if everyone does the work that they do with great uh, pride and with great respect. Uh, caste system would not be as negative as it is being seen today. So, in my opinion, he he was more towards the uh, towards the realization that the amount of that it does not matter how small work you are doing, it is the amount of work that you are putting in, the amount of hard work that you do that counts in. So, but that can even be achieved after annihilation of caste. Why Gandhi ji was not in favor of annihilation? Sir, one possible reason that I would say is if uh, he would straight away go for the annihilation of caste, that would bring a lot of social tension in, in the society only because the upper caste, uh, the upper caste people would uh, highly uh, reject it, and this can also cause a little bit of uh, tension in the fabric of the social uh, structure in India that may not be facilitator of uh, the Indian society getting so this freedom. So, can we say that Gandhi ji gave priority to India's independence? rather than social reformation sir i would not say that uh, sir in my opinion he kept both uh, parallel because uh, even uh, even he himself uh, uh, was promoting the people who are belonging to the lower caste uh, to understand uh, the imp- their own importance in the independence according to him independence should come to every person it should not just come from the foreign rulers i'll give you an instance saying why gandhi ji and social reformation is contradicting each other some section say some people say that uh, gandhi ji gave name harijan yes, to sir. Uh, lower caste people right yes sir so actually gradually harijan itself uh, became synonymous for <coughs> lower caste people and uh, lower caste people they started uh taking it as an offense that don't call us harijan yes sir theek hai so i am asking you that why gandhi ji did not take social reform that was serious um uh, bhr ambedkar was quite serious about it yes but mahatma gandhi was somewhere ambiguous do you think that sir i think uh, uh, his so idea whose, whose view point you believe mahatma gandhi's view point or we are ambedkar sir i am more aligned towards mahatma gandhi's uh, however I, mahatma gandhi's view however i would not uh, strictly rule out uh, the uh, if you have to choose whom will you choose whose viewpoint will you choose we are ambedkar or mahatma gandhi sir uh, with the current position and current knowledge that i have i would choose uh, mahatma gandhi mahatma gandhi ji's view sir okay uh, ravi yes sir Your optional happens to be geography. Yes, sir. Can you name one local wind which blows in Alwar region? Sir, uh, Lu will be the one which blows in the almost entire part, entire western part of Rajasthan. It also comes up up until Alwar. What's the average height of Alwar with respect to the mean sea level? I'm not sure about it. Okay. 
So you said that uh, playing acoustic guitar yes, sir. happens to be one of your interests or hobbies. Yes, sir. What is binding in an acoustic guitar? Uh, sir, I beg your pardon, sir. What does the word binding mean with respect to an acoustic guitar? Sir, I have never heard about binding. Binding. Sir. Okay. Are you aware of something called end pin in an acoustic guitar? No, sir. I have never heard end pin also. Okay. Uh, do you have any idea about headstock? Headstock with respect to acoustic guitar? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm unable to un to recognize these parts at the moment. Well, they are different parts. The they are, yes, sir. I do understand. They are different parts. So, mm -hmm. uh, if I but can, you are not aware of them. Sir, I'm aware of them. However, I'm not sure about it because uh, that is not something that I uh, regularly think about. Okay. Uh, have you heard about uh, Mark Knopfler? Do you know him? Mark Knopfler? No, sir. I don't know about Mark. Knopfler. Which acoustic guitarist do you like? Sir, I do not have any specific likes towards uh, uh, the great guitarists that have that have been there. I genuinely uh, I I like uh, the, the, those people who can play and sing and who have made it to the good. For example, one such would be Canadian pop star Justin Bieber. Uh, however, he would not be called as the greatest uh, guitarist, but I love the way he play because of, of the synchronization that he has with the voice and the guitar. Another one I would say is Ed Sheeran. In my opinion. Uh, Ed Sheeran is uh, is an Irish pop star. In my opinion, if uh, he was not, he is more recognized as a singer. But if you remove the the singing part of his, he would still be one of the greatest guitarists of all time. Is acoustic guitar a root instrument in pop music, or is it an ancillary instrument? Sir, so in the pop music, it is not seen as the the prerequisite thing in in the pops pop music. However, I would say that it has it is gaining very good uh, momentum in these days uh, because of the adoption, uh, specifically uh, the finger style, repercussive style that is coming up. Uh, I I personally play that style only where not just uh, the the not just the taps of a specific song, but chords along with rhythm and beats are also played at the same time with the same instrument. With all this integration, I think uh, these days there is more and more uh, versions covers coming up of. Uh, of the pop songs these days. For example, I myself play Linkin Park, multiple songs of Linkin Park with acoustic guitar with a repercussive style. Are you aware about the flamingo style with respect to finger picking? Are you aware of it? Sir, I have seen about it. I have not tried and, and I am not uh, uh, like very big uh, ad, like practicer of that also. So, I don't know about it as well. Are you aware about or have you heard about the term Spanish guitar? Yes, sir. What is the difference between Spanish guitar and acoustic guitar? Sir, uh, Spanish guitar. Sir, apart from the build that it has, especially uh, because these days acoustic guitars are coming from, which has multiple head gears, it is also on the, the instrument that is being used to play with it. For example, Spanish guitar is used, is being played with a bar. It is kept on the left and then we play largely it. Uh, the acoustic guitar that these days we are playing is more of a Hawaiian type of guitar. So, in my opinion, that would be the difference. Sir. Since you brought up what is a Hawaiian type of guitar, yes, sir. Can you name one important guitarist from India who plays Hawaiian guitar? Sir, I don't know about it. However, I do know there is a specific person who plays. Uh, in M. Shankaran's band, who I have seen multiple times, I have been playing. However, I, I don't know about his name. Have you heard about Pandit Vishnu Mohan Bhatt? No, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm not aware of it. Okay. Uh, Ravi, recently yes, a lockdown was imposed. Yes. Sir. And due to which large scale migration of labor happened. Yes, sir. What are your views with respect to lockdown as a measure to curb the spread of coronavirus? What are your views with respect to this lockdown as a tool? Sir, my view was lockdown as a tool was necessary, but it was a necessary evilish uh, because of uh, the negative things that happened due to this. Specifically, if we talk about the migration, we have seen hundreds and lakhs of migrants going back to their homes with no security. 
with uh, no facilities available to them not just in the transportation but the food and all, all the other things so I've, so i so in my opinion and in my observation there have been a lot of lacunas in the lockdowns that we imposed but it was very very necessary and because of that only uh, we were able to have such minimum impact of covid because of, we know that we are not as equipped as the advanced countries even then we were able to check on the covid uh, covid situation so this was kind of a necessary evil that we had to take care so you played hockey yes sir what is the main difference between european style of hockey and asian style of hockey? name two major differences between these two hockey styles i'm sorry sir i'm not aware of it uh can you define secularism how do you define secularism according to your definition i don't want a bookish definition for it what is secularism according to you sir in my opinion secularism is the viewpoint or an opinion which holds all the religion true which allows the views of all the religion which also tolerate the practices of all the religion and allows the constructive criticism of any specific uh, viewpoint or any specific practice if a specific person is doing okay uh, which article in the indian constitution you think is the most important article and if we remove that article or even we downgrade that article to any extent we would be uh, degrading the sanctity of the constitution one article and why sir in my opinion it would be article 21 uh, because article 21 talks about the right to life with personal liberty it is not just a right to life but it the, the but all the other rights that it entails for example right to privacy uh, right to education was also added as an extension to it article 21a and right to marriage as a matter of fact it also entails a right to sleep which i personally enjoy so sir uh, right to uh, right to life with personal liberty should be in my opinion the fundamental the most important article fundamental right that we are given how many unesco recognized world heritage sites in rajasthan I'm sorry, sir. I'm not aware of. Can you name any UNESCO recognized World Heritage Site from India? So uh, one such is the Jantar Mantar in Jaipur only, which was an observatory made by. Uh, sir, I'm not sure about it, uh, but I think it it was by uh, Savai Jai Singh. Uh, and the person who who made uh, this also made uh, four more observatories in four different parts like Delhi, Ujjain. Uh, they were kind of the observate astronomical observatory units being made at that time. Are you aware about the recent attack on CRPF jawans, an ambush in Bijapur? Yes, so there was uh, there was a mishap that happened in there was a Naxal attack that happened. So, what are your views with respect to deployment of army to fight Naxalism? Who are fighting uh, this? nexels at present which agencies or which forces sir uh, nex- nexelism these days is being combated by multiple agencies for example there is a greyhound uh, force in andhra pradesh crpf is also being uh, deployed in multiple places also there are uh, there are local uh, people who are employed uh, which, which are also making special bell battalions to fight these nexel people which is the primary agency fighting nationalism presently uh sir in sir i'm not sure about it i'm not sure. do you want to take a guess sir so crpf would be my guess okay media trials yes, what sir. are your views with respect to media trials and tell me three steps that we can take to stop media trials sir um my firm opinion is that uh, media trials are not the land the rule of the law of the land they should not be allowed uh, to an extent that we have seen in the recent days of medias and the three ways through which we can actually avoid such type of things to happen is first to have very strict regulations very strict regulations on what they are publishing on what type of panels they are forming and what type of discussions they are holding because if we see uh, the prime time debates these days the t- title itself accuses the person 
of something that he is that he is under trial of the second thing i would say is to embrace a larger uh, to embrace the ethics and ethos behind journalism uh, because that would give a behavioral shift to not just the people uh, not just the reporters but also to the entire organization and uh, the third thing i would say is the use of nudge theory uh because as we have seen it is very very effective in actually changing people's attitude and behavior towards something so we can see uh, there are multiple very very good examples of the digital media and also established media houses that are uh, that display on television for example ntv is one of one such example uh, rajya sabha television is another is another example so we can try to show them uh, we can try to promote them and try to uh, collaborate them with the other media houses that are working so sir i think these three steps would uh, be would be good enough okay when you were introducing yourself yes sir you said that you like challenges yes sir so uh do you like taking risks in life sir i risk covers sir i used to love the feeling of the risking uh, my not just uh, multiple facets of life for example it can be pure life also risking the life or it could be the risk of uh, losing job or doing something that is not done for however these days uh, there is less a tendency of risking my own self uh, my own uh, this is the biggest self. risk that you have taken so far in your life according to you biggest risk uh, that you have taken. sir i had done when i was kid in third or fourth class only i have I hadn't done inline roller skating on the national highway. Uh, not the national highway. I think it is the ring road I've done in Delhi during the peak hour. And uh, there were multiple instances. I can still remember. I can see the visuals also uh, that I was saved very curiously. And uh, that I'd done out of sheer stupidity. I wanted to show to my to my to the people that I was surrounded with that I can do it. And soon I realized it is something that you should really not <laughs> tempting. So, if you love challenges and risks so much, yes, sir. Why have you filled Zone Four, which is the northeastern region and the far east, as your last preference? It should go as the first preference because, as yes, far sir. as risks are concerned, be it security-related risks or challenges, administrative challenges, infrastructural challenges, organization-related challenges, yes, sir. demographic challenges, cultural challenges. security related challenges all challenges are at very high degree in that part of the country yes sir there is a basic contradiction now you said you love risks and if that is the case then zone 4 should become your first option but surprisingly i find it is the last option yes sir what justifications you extend for that sir there are multiple reasons why it is at that position uh, first thing is sir uh, the uh, first 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 thing would be the reduction in the idea to risk my life that i have grown uh, in these days in my opinion uh, in my opinion uh, right now is i can do more uh, to the service if i'm not risking myself second thing sir definitely anyone would be wanting to be at a position at a place and at a position where he can deliver his service to the maximum in my opinion if i'm staying in a place which is which i know to whose people i know and where's problem i know i would be able to execute my responsibilities with a much detail de- uh, with which more finite steps however this does not mean that i do not like diversity because uh, sir but if the zone preference have to be given then definitely i would be putting the one that i think that i will be doing better in uh, rather than the other way however still change Uh, risking my uh, risking uh, the opportunities and uh, the love for the risk does not uh, ends at my own region also so i think sir it is not a contradiction in my opinion okay ravi why do you want to join the civil services what is the motivating factor sir civil service uh, uh, there are multiple facets of this answer also the best thing that it pro- that uh, i look forward is the diversity uh because i understand uh, myself to be a person that who would not be uh, to the best of his capability if he is keep if he keeps on doing the one, one thing specifically if we're talking about the uh, top 2 3 4 uh, jobs they provide wide array of uh, zone that we can work deliver in 
for example we have seen multiple examples of ips officers doing really good in education field so the diversity is a very very important point second thing sir it provides a good amount of financial stability and also the stability of the tenure because uh, being at the, at a position where where we are given responsibilities so high i think it is important that uh, if we are performing those duties we should have decent amount of security uh, in terms of finance also and sir third thing uh, is i have recently uh, grown way more uh, enthus uh, regarding the civil service ever since i started preparing i would admit that uh, preparing preparing for civil services was not my ultimate uh, was not my childhood thing slowly slowly i have realized that this is something that should that is worth attempting for and dying for now summarize everything whatever you have said in one word why do you want to join the civil service to do what so service public service so service if it is a public service or if it is a parental service or anything so because i i think uh, the same service also extends to my family you have to prefer one parents versus society yes sir what will you prefer so blindfolded it would be society because this is something that i have learned from my father he has sacrificed a lot uh, because of the work that he is supposed to be do- done and he has taught the same thing to me so it does not matter if it is my parent or something else it will always be the society that is if you want to do public service yes sir start an ngo or a social service organization yes sir do you want an allocation and salary for that to do public service no sir uh, sir there will always be debate in what can be done uh, if you are pursuing for something for example if you really like to play why don't you play something else why don't you play something else there will always be something it is just a matter of priority because there are so many other f- things that comes along with this only along with with this job that uh, would entice me that would uh, enthuse me to choose this job however doing an ngo is not a bad idea but sir it is just a pri- matter of priority that i give civil services okay so you have studied civil engineering from iit root sir i have um, the government has already spent a lot on you yes sir during your education do you think you wasted a candidate seat who would have otherwise pursued engineering and civil engineers play a very vital role in urbanization yes sir in planning so in overall development but now you are moving towards administration yes sir so don't you think uh, ravi you wasted one important seat of someone who was more inclined towards civil engineering as a profession sir civil engineering is very important uh, aspect of uh, the service delivery as you have also mentioned especially in the drive to infrastructural development that we are seeing however in my opinion i did not wasted the money because there are there were so many things that i learned not just in the engineering but also extra engineering thing that that i went through during my college for example uh, the scientific approach that i have in my head i remember uh, during uh, while admitting in the college i was not as scientific i was not as rational about things as i am today i think engineering entails me with that other thing also sir being a specialist in a specific field is always welcomed because uh, of course if uh, i if i become an is officer or ips officer and i am given in charge of a specific district then it would be very very uh, interesting uh, to see that i also hold the spe- uh, the specialization in something which is a very vibrant thing that is going on these days that is the infrastructure development so i will be able to provide multiple inputs in that also and and sir i think engineering over and all has converted me from a child to a man to a man who can think a man who is mature enough to take decisions so in my opinion sir i will be doing more good now with the amount of uh, knowledge and with the amount of uh, academic that i have gone through then i would have done the other wise which is presently the biggest infrastructural project that's going on in rajasthan sir the, there is an extension of uh, the indira gandhi canal the phase 2 is going on uh, however is it uh, financially the b- b- the biggest one that is going on right now i'm not sure about it sir it is actually very big biggest infrastructure project in india ongoing sir i'm not sure about it uh, but take the guess so recent yesterday on uh, in in the last week only we have seen the keen betwa link project uh, entails 35000 and some crore rupees which so, uh, body is funding that project 
sir i am sir i'm not aware of it sir i'll try to look forward to it so you really talked about uh, talked about force talked about downward force right yes sir you know so a very famous sport by the name of hunger food yes sir it's called the haunted food sir it is no way sir there are multiple theories why it is haunted and whether it is haunted or not some people say that however uh, even today also after 6 pm uh, when the sunlight goes off uh, it is mandatory that everyone should vacate the area of bhangad fort there are multiple theories why it happens some people says that uh, the lady uh, that there, there was a queen uh, who was being uh, who was being cursed by a local saint and uh, then she died and currently her 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 so called soul uh, roams around the place there is also other uh, many other theories like uh, like someone some uh, saint himself got buried uh, because of the amount because of the amount of insult that he received from the king and he cursed the entire place so it is still said a lot of lot about it uh, how authentic it is i'm not sure about it no, but as an engineer do you Such theories, sir. As an engineer, my rational brain would say that uh, such theory things may not be true, but I will not uh, totally eradicate if there is something like that is happening over there. However, I will not say that it is supernatural because we have seen uh, in history from time and again that uh, various phenomena that used to happen they could have a lot of scientific explanation once we are able to identify what they were, and once we were allowed to ident to analyze them. so if the government allows properly which i think it has done for the public safety only to not allow any people to go inside i think for now it is better to stay away and understand the government's point of view also okay so i think we will talk about your uh, email id very very yes sir uh, as of today yes sir do we have any aircraft carriers in the indian navy sir india has one aircraft carrier which is in service another one is also uh, is is being built uh i think vikramaditya is the one which is currently in service and vikrant is the one that is being built currently or the other way around i'm not sure about it sir uh you chose uh, geography as your optional subject right yes sir uh i don't see uh, much of geography in your uh, schooling and uh, yes, sir yes sir uh, how did you choose geography as a subject? sir geography as a subject was something that came along with the preparation my preparation as i attempted last year also last year was my first attempt when i got indian railways account service uh so the time limit was very very less that i had because i filled the form right after i was about to attempt the paper right after i completed my graduation that was the year of my graduation also i understood that the time is very very limited there was a paucity of time so i realized that i will not be able to assimilate uh, and to control my civil engineering syllabus so i i opted for the for something that is i can do that is more rational to me and that i can also cover within the amount of time that i think that i could do so i made a decision to go for with the geography other thing that i would say is geography was the was something that clicked to me for the very first time only because i've been uh, a good follower of geography ever since my school days also so i did not so i did not give much thought about it whether i should go for anthropology or philosophy or something i i realized that my interest lies in geography i'll be able to complete that within the set amount of time so i went for geography also also very basic question uh, what is the difference between an archipelago and uh, an island sir and sir an island would be uh, would be something which is surrounded by water a land which is surrounded by water it can be a coral land or it can be a some or it can be uh, other thing that uh, where there is a land and surrounded by water and archipelago is a group of islands so for example we talk we say that uh, uh, andaman and nicobar is an archipelago it's not an island it entails many islands which is main andaman and like hundreds other uh, Uh, islands so archipelago is a group so would you say uh, australia an island or is it an archipelago or is it a continent what is it sir uh, sir australia is a continent however with my 
previous definition i would classify it as an archipelago however i've never heard that australian archipelago has done something or something like that peruin also said you know uh, position of distinction in the leadership that the hindu school stroke college was as coordinator of accommodation and college cultural fest yes sir now what sort of uh, leadership did you display at that sir uh, it was my it was during my second year that i was a coordinator of my cultural fest that is also known as thomso uh, it is one of the largest uh, cultural event that happen uh, in any college any edu- any college not just engineering college in our country so the the number of accommodants uh, accommodants they came was were very huge for me personally to accommodate because i've never seen such a large amount large event i've never handled also so there were very basic basic problems that people had for example some people would say that they do not like the location of the room they would want uh, their room to be getting shared by some other person and small small things however when we are talking of when we go for an event as big as that there are specific things that should be done in a specific time for uh, so basically it was uh, a three day uh, event but uh, if uh, one or two days just get uh, exhausted in to get a room it would be not ex- enjoyable uh, as as pl- pleasurable for them so small small things small small decision that i had to make small small adjustment that i had to make uh, were uh, i am really happy about them that i was able to make them and i was able to convince them uh, because of course there was a paucity of land and time so, so would, was it more management or was it more leadership so it was more of a management however i was i was kind i was i along with one one of my friend was were leading the entire team of accommodating uh, of accommodation so i would say it is it entails both of them a larger part shows the management of it but uh, sir because a lot of steps were taken with our consent or with our permission so i would say it also provides a little bit of leadership exposure leadership is actually more about inspiring Yes, sir. Right, whereas management is about planning. Yes, sir. And not in this case, it's more of planning that you've done. Yes, sir. It is more inclined towards management. Okay. Uh, now that you are a civil, a civil engineer by profession. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, or rather, by qualification. Yes. And uh, now that you want to get into the uh, services, I guess. Yes, sir. Uh, Keep in both these in mind as a civil engineer, uh, as a IAS officer with a civil background. Who do you think would be a role model for you when you join uh, the IAS? Sir, so my role model would be uh, would be two people. One would be uh, Ishri Dharan as a civil engineer because we have seen his 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 tremendous amount of civil engineering uh, capabilities. and another would be m vishweshwarya i'm not much aware of the work that he has done but uh, the amount of uh, personal conduct uh, the management in his ideas was something that is so fascinating that i wish i could just be some some proportionate to them also that would good would be good enough for me some of the qualities that i enjoy that i personally am big fan of these two people are their decision making right th- their attitude of doing right thing at the right time and not losing the part of integrity however i do realize that i have compromised my integrity for justice in your question a uh, bit ahead but uh, to a extent to to however extent the problems may go wrong these people have exhibited the grand amount of uh, values towards the service that they are supposed to do towards what is expected from them from them so sir in my opinion these two people uh, i would i wish i could be just half of as good as these people are and that would be good enough for me uh, is he was not from the ies sir he is not from ies uh, but he was a civil engineer who was is... the ies sir he was from ies but he was a civil engineer in the... he made the uh... engineering services uh, it definitely makes a connection yes sir okay uh, by the way whose birthday is celebrated as uh, the national engineers day Sir, it is uh, M. Vishweshwarya. I'm sorry, M. Vishweshwarya. Okay. One last question. Uh, Ishwaran has now uh, moved from uh, his background. Yes, sir. To a new field. Yes, sir. How happy or unhappy are you with that decision? 
Sir, in my opinion, he has all the right that he is he, that he want to join a specific political party. How will he argue with his joining uh, the political scene? Sir, I am actually a little excited about what comes because I have seen wherever he has gone, he has brought tremendous amount of changes. So, whichever party that he wish to go to, I think he is going to entail those qualities also. And apparently that party is the ruling party of this country also. So, I believe that there, there are going to be some of the very, very uh, the organizational changes are going to be there. He is going to entail those values in, into the organizations also. So I think it is a very welcoming step that uh, one of the greatest uh, great civil engineer is also entailing one of the biggest parties in the world. So it is. Okay. There will be two uh, major achievements of uh, this issue. Sir, I am aware of only one uh, one achievement that he was uh, the major person uh, in the in Delhi Metro project. Uh, however, I I do um, uh, I do have read about uh, the services that he has provided to the other metro services, but I am not sure about them. Have you not heard about uh, the Konkan Railways? Sir, Konkan Railways is one of the one of the best, uh, finest uh, civil engineering example that uh, our engineers have displayed. It cuts through Western Ghats, multiple tunnels, small small things. That was done with with the with a very limited amount of project and. Traveling through that also is sufficient, it's still sufficient not to go to Goa. Traveling through that is suffi still sufficient to understand the, the, the biogeographical richness of this country. I personally have been who through did, that. Who was instrumental for that? Sir, I'm not sure, but uh, I think it is Isha I'm not sure about it. But, uh, do you think Konkan Railways is only in the Western Ghats or elsewhere also? Have you delivered uh, projects elsewhere apart from the Western Ghats? Sir, I am not sure about it. Ravi? Yes, sir. Your name coincides with uh, Raja Ravi Verma. Have you heard about him? A famous painter of uh, 20th century. Yes, sir. He is one of the most famous painters that we have seen. Uh, what do you know about him? What sir. do you know about him? Uh, sir, Raja Ravi Verma. Uh, uh, I know two three things about uh, the work that he has done. Uh, he was the person. He was the person whose famous painting about Saraswati is the is the one that we see these days uh, uh, on on the, on the copies. And he also brought more and more uh, realism in the pictures that were uh, that was somehow not that much that that were undermined in the in just the preceding era because we have seen during the company time. Uh, the there was little bit of uh, non rationality that was being depicted whereas he went for the indian philosophical uh, images like uh, goddess saraswati mother god uh, uh, india has a god also M mother as mother goddess why was he criticized at that point of time sir i'm not sure about it but i can make a little bit okay. guess sir in my opinion uh, he was Oh, he was criticized because of a little bit of sensuality that he used to display uh, in his painting. Sir, in my opinion. Okay. So, uh, just make a comparison between today's nationalism and Tagore's nationalism. And what kind of nationalism you prefer? Sir, uh, Rabindranath Tagore's nationalism is the revisiting of Indian philosophical ethos. India's way of style, for example, India's educational, uh, the, the traditional educational system that was there, uh, he would, uh, in his nationalism, that would play a big role. Uh, the, the, the Shanti Niketan that he uh, found was also one of, the, one of the features of his nationalism. But today's nationalism is somewhat, in my opinion, misguided one, where we are going not just from nationalism, we are going towards extreme nationalism where somewhat violence finds its way, violence seeps in. Uh, but still, even today, nationalism means uh, uh, paying more, uh, paying tribute and following the ideals of all the noble laureates that we have, the, the freedom fighters that we had, and to understand the basic or moral and ethos of the Indian societies and culture. So nationalism, in a way, has not changed much. However, the interpretation of nationalism that these days people are doing are going towards a little bit of extremism.
Tagore actually has criticized nation states and nationalism per se. Why was that? He was not in favor of nationalism. Why? Sir, in my opinion, Tagore was against nationalism because uh, because these are the artificial boundaries that that uh, we create and we try to separate people on the basis of uh, boundary. For example, if you are staying on that part of this land, you are belonging to Bangladesh. If you are staying this part of this land, you belong to India. Between humanism and nationalism, yes, sir. Uh, what do you value the most? Sir, on the core, I value humanism more. However, I do realize that there are some instances where we should put nationalism also. If you have to make a choice, yes, sir. What choice that will be? Humanism or nationalism? Let me give an example. If you make humanism as your choice, yes, sir. Then you will allow refugees from Myanmar. Yes, sir. Right. But if you will make a nationalism as your choice, you will not allow that. Yes, sir. Because resources are already scarce. Yes, right? sir. Now tell me, what will you? Do? humanism or nationalism sir if it is a binary then i will go for humanism only uh, i will go for humanism because i think it is more important for a civil servant or for any person that matter that humanistic value should come first than nationalism however i do realize that those officers or those people who are in charge with the duties that they have to not allow the refugees coming inside uh, i think it is more important for them if you are that officer on the border yes sir and you have the authority to say yes, yes or sir. no yes sir you will allow sir i've i've sir i will go with the authority i will go with the authority but in co- in my core core philosophy i will still believe in humanism why that happens is because sir we being at a specific position we are also responsible to to some pledges some vows that we have made also it is very important to take larger step not on the smaller minor smaller picture because if the government is saying that the resources are scanty and uh, ref- if we allow more and more refugees to come in then the people that are living in that specific area will suffer then it is something which is very very rational it is something that is true also so it is better to follow what the government is saying or to follow what the bigger picture is all about uh, rather than going towards go- going for just one act of sympathy uh, like uh, allowing one specific person on the humanistic ground you just said you will be humanist you will prefer humanism and now you are contradicting yourself that uh, you will go with government stand and you will not allow refugees as they will uh, encroach upon the limited resources sir in my opinion i am not contradicting myself i believe in humanistic uh, values however that does not mean that my action also should say the same my action would be uh, what the government as uh, what the government or a rational government step or decision is towards my action would be that sir okay ravi yes sir subhash chandra bose yes sir he was a nationalist or a patriot sir he was a patriot in my opinion there is difference between patriotism and nationalism sir nationalism is more towards uh, uh, sir i would not be able to uh, give a better idea about uh, answer about it How would you like to identify yourself, a nationalist or a patriot? Sir, a patriot would be the one that I would go forward to. What makes you laugh in life? What makes you laugh? So almost everything that happens, uh, uh, the thing that those have, th- those things which happen uh, to the people that they are enjoying their life. If I see someone, uh, and even if uh, the life is decent with me, even if I'm, uh, I'm, even if it is a regular life, it is not very enthusiastic life. it is not a life which is full of thrills and everything else it makes me laugh it makes me laugh that uh, why uh, why the things is why the why so called the generalistically good thing are happening with me even when i do not deserve for example uh, for example even if I, when when i was born in a family which i was born which i was lucky to be born in which is financially very very good i laugh sarcastically on it like i did nothing good pre birth that i was given the opportunity to be born in such a such a thing however on the lighter side being a laughter sir playing my uh, my sports that i love enjoying my hobbies that i that i enjoy and uh, watching a lot of comedy and comedy acts uh, and also doing a lot of uh, sports activities make me laugh what makes you sad 
so seeing uh, seeing the present situation of uh, the economy not economy economy also makes me sad because i think economy entails a larger picture and seeing small small things that comes up in the news when i open the news and i see uh, that uh, specific happen of nexalism happen uh, those start to make me question question what is all the laugh about if something this is happening uh, but it is important to understand that small things uh, and things keep on happening it's, a, it's just a way of expression of your life that you should keep on keep going on the way you should keep on working on your responsibilities keep your duties safe and uh, try to discharge what you are supposed to be discharging at the best of your capability sir what inspires you sir everything i am uh, to be quite honest uh, i would say from people to things to other uh, to other uh, other philosophies that all inspires for example my father inspires me two or three of my friends also inspire me because i've come to know the amount of work that they do these are about the what people. inspiration do you draw from this interview so first one would be to to have to to should have gone washroom before coming to the interview other than that it is awareness not inspiration uh, yes sir it would be an awareness what uh, inspiration would you draw from this interview sir uh, sir i this is my second mock and i think i have done a little bit better than the other one so in my opinion that is a precedent which is not good so i have done quite good amount of work from the last one to this one so that difference will good enough to motivate me second sir, thing is sir talking uh, talking to three of the best luminary people that i can talk to it uh, it always bring, brings up enthusiasm and inspiration okay. have you heard about uh, gandhi ji's dream the india of my dreams have you heard about this term sir i've heard, heard sir. about india dream. of my dreams sir i've heard but i'm okay. not uh, so I'm what is india of your dreams what kind of india you sir uh, the india that i want which i wish should come immediately also would entails few things which are core to me first is the social justice should be established it does not matter uh, how many people will not feel uh, that the thing is happening good or not it should the social justice should be established as soon as possible it should be either through the way of the positive discrimination that we we, we may do or uh, or the protective discrimination that we can do social justice is must for my india second is for my india those three concepts of the french revolution uh, the equality liberty and uh, brotherhood that should comes that should come at no cost and finally people with the moral satisfaction and the ethical satisfaction that overall encompasses my india my dream of india and and also the india which is not just competing but is leading the world in almost all the fields okay ravi it was nice interacting with you thank you wait outside we'll call you back for your feed thank you sir thank you sir ravi yes sir overall aapke performance mein bahut improvement chal raha hai ओके सर इसको आप एक लर्निंग कर्व की तरह लें जैसे कि आप जो अपने फ्लॉज हैं आइडेंटिफाई कर सकते हैं यस सर यू वर वेल ड्रेस्ड फॉर द ओकेजन थैंक यू सर यू अपीयर वेरी डिसेंट थैंक यू यू आर वेरी पोलाइट बाय नेचर थैंक यू सर बट ऑन सच एन इंपॉर्टेंट डे प्रेफर अ क्लीन शेव यस सर आई विल दैट ये इट शोस अ काइंड ऑफ लेजीनेस लेजीनेस एंड not such a decent attitude reflection of your okay sir kuch jo major changes aapko karne padenge while you answer your questions yes sir jab koi specific question hota hai you choose between this or that to aap ye mat boliye ki i'll choose it however moreover you can do that in one okay. or the other very difficult choices you okay sir but in most of the choices you did that so you did not choose Yes, sir. Practically, you did not choose anything. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. And uh, listen to the words in the question very carefully. Ask you what inspires you, and yeah. you did not. You confuse the words inspiration and awareness. Yes, yes. Sir. Very bad on yes. your part. Secondly, uh, ask you few things about your optional, yes, like sir. special emancipation. Yes, sir. You should know about these things. 
because you see if you fail to answer some current affairs related issue the board will spare you but if you fail to answer with respect to information provided by you in your detailed application form is your bio data related information yes or optional choice was that imposed over you or you have chosen it i have chosen yes sir. so you should know it inside out i know you know it okay because you have qualified the means examination okay sir but in the interview deal your best point should come as the first point okay sir. in mains examination you hold your best point for the last moment in the conclusion yes. so as to create an impression of what the evaluator yes but here in interview maybe the person who is asking you the question will not allow you a second sentence yes maybe he'll interject and ask a supplementary or an ancillary question yes sir clear you need to work a lot with respect to your hobby section yes sir because you highlighted only one hobby and that yes, is a acoustic guitar yes sir clear and uh, coincidentally it's also my hobby okay sir do you understand that yes, so sir. there can be someone sitting in the board who holds a similar hobby okay like your hobby or otherwise interested in that thing mm. and if you do not name like say for example if cricket is your hobby and you do not know that what is the meaning of wicket yes sir then it does not give a very good reflection hobby yes, is something sir. which you pursue passionately Do you understand that? Yes. Sir. It shows only a kind of vague interest in that. Do you get okay. that? Yes, sir. So um, you must know many things about acoustic guitar, Indian yes, acoustic guitar players, all those kind of things. The questions that uh, yes, I have asked with respect to it. Further, you were dragging your statements too much. Yes, sir. I was also feeling there's a that made right. your interview um, painfully long. Yes, sir. Sometimes uh, we felt disinterested in your answer. because it was too much trap be to the point specific short clear yeah? okay sir short keep your answers very short and very specific to the question that has been asked and when suppose the members in the board they contradict you yes sir it would be good that you gently apologize at that moment even if you do not agree to that okay sir yeah? do not get into a confrontationist kind of situation with them Yes, sure, sir. There were many questions like Gandhi versus Ambedkar, and then yes, uh, there was this nationalism versus patriotism. You were not able to give convincing answers. Okay, sir. And in the first part of your interview, you were too much. You were struggling to pronounce the word liberty. Sir, uh, it was not coming to you. I can understand. Liberty, ha, liberty, nahi aata sir. It was not coming to you, but it is not expected you. Yes, sir. Uh, to a candidate who is appearing for civil services interview. Yes, sir. Liberty. Yeah. So uh, these are few improvements which I would suggest. And along with that, improve your eye contact as well. The eye contact when suppose when sir was asked you a question, yes, sir. you look at him and then you put you pass some glance at him and then you did not look at sir even oh, yes. for a few minutes. Uh, yes, sir. Member in the panel might feel neglected. You often feel offended. The correct okay. way is look at. The person who is asking you the question, yes, very sir. softly, do not gaze. Okay, sir. Very softly, and then uh, while you are answering, primarily, predominantly, you look at that person who has asked you the question, but also pass some intermediate, soft glances to the other okay, members as well. Clear. Okay, a okay. hard glance or a piercing look, especially if a lady member is sitting in the panel, yeah, it might be detrimental to your cause. Clear. Okay. So sir. these are few improvements here, which I suggest. Okay, that is sir. my feedback with respect to your work, sir. Thank you, sir. Ravi. Yes, sir. You know the moment you made an entry into the hall. Yes. Sir. I was impressed. Thank you, sir. Right. With short confidence. You walked in uh, with confidence. Thank you. you Unbuttoned your uh, coat and sat down with some writing to do. Thank you, sir. Right. So it was good. Till such time, but uh, shaving was one thing which was a bit too long. Yes, sir. That would have uh, done much better. Your sitting position was good. Thank you, sir. Right, because generally uh, when people tend to sit forward, uh, it becomes a little more, uh, you know, it displays a little more lack of confidence. You sat well. Thank you, sir. The only thing which I felt, uh, hand position was good. You Thank kept you, your hand, uh, hands on your uh, uh, knees. Thank Both you, sir. You didn't move them around much. That was nice. Yes. Uh, 
couple of instances I thought you wanted to shake your hand, uh, move your hands around, but you restrained. If you do that, it would be advisable to lock your hands and keep them in front of you. Okay, sir. That is a better position because in that you know this shows a little bit of stiffness. Yes, sir. This yes, shows a little bit of uh, informality. Okay. This is a little better position than sitting like this. Too. Okay, sir. Right? This is a little better position. Okay, sir. The only thing which worked was your eye contact. Okay, sir. Your eyeball movement was very, very frisky. Okay. Very sharp. Tuck, 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 tuck. Yes, sir. Tuck, Sometimes tuck. it did happen. So, it was actually a uh, uh, little uncomfortable. You know, as what uh, was pointed out, it should be soft nuances. Yes, sir. It is not tuck, tuck, no. Casual and then it goes back. Then again it goes and again comes back. It has to be very, very smooth. Okay, sir. Not sharp, right? Not abrupt. Okay, sir. Same thing with your uh, eye ball movement also. Right? Your uh, eye contact as well as eye ball movement. Okay, sir. Both have to be smooth and not uh, abrupt or uh, sharp. Okay, sir. Answers were very really long. They were long, yes, sir. You could have easily cut down the duration of the interview by almost about 20 odd minutes. Yes, sir. Right? So, because the more you are speaking, the more you are giving options to the other person to ask you more questions. And uh, it would have been better that uh, you shorten your answers, that would have been much better. Yes, sir, I will definitely do. And uh, if you had shaved, it would have been good. Yes, sir. I'll make it. Second time when you came in, you lifted the cushion cover and sat down. Yes, sir. Good. It showed awareness. Thank you, sir. Nice. But for your eye contact and the long answers. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. So, sh shaving was related. Initially, yes, you were confident, but later on, you looked a bit stressed. I don't know why. Sir, the toilet was more than So, you should plan it in advance. Yes. Sir, I actually went, I drank way too much water. I, I drank, I, I wanted the washroom just for coming, but I drank way too much. So it you should plan the temperature. in advance. Right? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I wanted was the major problem, the biggest problem. Okay, sir. Uh, in case of eye contact, rather than uh, moving just eyeball, you should move the complete head. Okay, that will be more professional. I'll, yes, sir. Okay. And even if some panelist is uh, doing something like this, or he is drinking water, you should not look at uh, what he is doing. You should focus on your work. Yes, you are sir. Answering questions. Things. Yes, sir. One instance was happened with me was that uh, someone asking some questions and I was drinking water. Yes, sir. So I, I, you I, you I, uh, looked at me like that. Yes, sir. That's not okay. Yes, sir. Uh, do not take names of private news channels. Unless and until specifically asked, NDTV is against BJP. It, the way kind of news it shows. Yes, the, it can be. The, it is showing good news, but yes, the sir. reason being you do not know the tilt of panelists. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, so why to take risk? If some panelist is asking you that name a good channel, then you can say. But otherwise, okay, why you are falling in such a trap? You yourself are uh, giving the fodder. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, it was mistake. So don't do that. Uh, you can take Rajaswati. That was Raja, the so uh, okay. one. Yes, sir. Uh, one instance was where your answer was a bit problematic was you said, Now I don't want to risk my life. That risk is a comfortable situation to be in. If you are selected for IPS and yes, you are sir. going into the encounter. Yes, sir. So, how can you not want to risk your life? If you do not want to risk your life altogether, IPS should be the last preference. Sir, I meant to, it did not came out good, I meant to say irrationally. Maybe the words should be different. Yes, sir, they, would, they should have been a lot different than uh, what I did. But that, I do not, actually your interview went for too long. Yes, sir. If you have kept your answer for the uh, shorter, sure, then sure. I would have asked this question. Okay. Why you do not want to reserve it in your life? Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, the panelist might uh, take an offense for that. Okay, sir. And uh, you said M. Vishweshwaraya was your idol. And yes. you are not sure of what it His is. His work. Uh, See, the problem uh, is, someone has asked you that, oh, who is your idol? Yes, you sir. said, sir, M. Vishwaswaraya. 
but i am not sure what work he did sir it if looks bad if you are ideal then why you are not sure yes yeah, sir it looks a little bit bad <laughs> someone has forced that idol upon you no that sir you should idolize this person only no sir no sir no sir My yes, sir, I will try to make it, make more confirm ideas about it. Ah, uh, so think properly, plan yes, in advance. Yes, this is my ideal. Because such kind of questions will be repeated in the actual interview. Yes, sir. So you sir. should plan in advance. If he, who is my ideal? What has he did? Okay. Even his, some of his flaws. Yes, sir. It is. Everything should be prepared in advance. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, the one good answer which I liked about uh, your was uh, civil engineer. The role Thank of civil engineer, what is the significance, or something like that. Thank you, or, sir. Or I think sir answered uh, sir question you about that uh, IIT Ruchi uh, government has wasted a seat on you. Yes, sir. And you beautifully justified that what you learned from civil engineer. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So such kind of answers you should give, and you should plan. Yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. That Otherwise, uh, you are good. Thank you, sir. So, uh, Ravi has rightly pointed out. I deliberately did this on several occasions, first yes. with the marker and then with the pencil. Yes, sir. I just I, to draw your attention. It went about it a couple times. Uh, and uh, every time I did this, so at my hand, even yes. when I was looking in at your in your face. Yes, sir. I understand. Your face. So you must also. You should not lose your uh, attention so easily. It, yes, sir. It shows a, a kind of uh, attitude in you that you are very easily you can get distracted. Yeah. Yes, sir. Rich. And there can be stress-like situation. There can be crisis-like situation where you have to be very attentive. Yes, sir. To the issue at hand. Suppose there is a terrorist attack, and you are an IPS officer. Yes, sir. You understand that? And if somebody's um, phone rings at that time, and suppose yes. you are answering to the minister with respect to the steps you are taking, and you are also interested in the message. Oh, yes, sir. So it shows very bad. It's it, it's not a good reflection. You understand yes. that? Yeah? Yes, sir. So, uh, Ravi, based on today's performance, okay, yes, sir. And I know that you are still in. When is your interview? So mine is on twelfth of May. Twelfth of May. I have so, one more. Uh, uh, not much time is left. Yes, sir. Yeah, because time flies by. You understand? Yes, sir. But work on the uh, flaws that the panel has highlighted. Yes, sir. And uh, purely based on today's performance and. Uh, Averaging the individual marks. Yes, sir. The panel is of the opinion that if this is how you give your interview on that day, then you will end up with anything between one sixty to one seventy, one sixty four, sixty five to be more precise. Okay, sir. And Ravi, if you work on your flaws, then yes, definitely you may see an addition of thirty thirty five marks also to this mark. Sir, I'll try to do that. Yeah, sir. and definitely you do that, dear. Yes, and sir. And see, you have age on your side. Thank Otherwise, you, you appear very vibrant, Thank you um, very disciplined, so polite and gentle. So there is hardly any reason to reject you, unless you give them one. And I give multiple. You <laughs> give multiple by speaking more. Yes, sir. Sometimes you should speak less, but okay. appropriate and to the point. So that would I, I will try to remember. Yeah. And whenever a question was being asked to you, you also justified the other half of the question which you were neglecting. You are not willing to answer that. You are given to make a choice. Everybody knows that you, he wants to be patriot as well as nationalist. Yes. He wants to follow Gandhi as well as Ambedkar. Yes. Then sir. where is the decision making power? Yes. You are always in your yes. comfort zone. Yes, that doesn't show the clarity. Yes. In that. Yes. Do you understand that? Yes. With sir. more mock interviews, you will improve. Sir, definitely I'll try to do that. Okay, dear, you can come over and collect your feedback sheets. Shukriya, sir. If there is any specific question, uh, you can ask. You can collect the sheets first. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, sir, as of now, I have no idea. Sir, I, I I actually need to know like if I do not know anything. Did I really ask a lot? Too many guesses that I should not have asked about because I asked way too much. Sir. You can have. Sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, I asked it. Many times you started your answer. I think I would like to take a guess. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There were so like many times. There were so many of that kind, and mostly with respect to your hobbies. That is one um, thing. That, that is I one mean. section. It means you were totally exposed to that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, you yes. need to improve on that part. Yes, sir. So that is that would be my suggestion. Okay. You should not be too much. One or two instances would be pardoned by the panel, but way too much indulgence into I think, I guess, yes, it shows I like feel kind of thing. Conviction. Not be tolerated by the panel. 
Okay, sir. Uh, Ravi, one more thing. Yes, sir. Uh, whenever he was answering something, your answer looked very casual. Such as, for example, panelist asked you that uh, highlight three steps which will you take. Yes, sir. Then you cannot see like this. There are multiple steps, sir, which we can take. And uh, one is this, one is this, one is this. Oh, yes. That shows casualness. You are in a formal interview. Yes, sir. Yes. So there could be multiple steps. First one is this. See, the way I say. Uh, the same is same. For example, uh, you come here and I tell you, Ravi, sit here. And the yes, other sir. panel say, Ravi, sit here. Said the the words are same. Yes, sir. But how you say it, that makes a lot more difference. Okay? You can offend also some panelists by your words. Yes, sir. And you can please also. Okay? So you have to change your tone in such a manner that it does not offend anyone. It looks more formal. Okay, even your facial expressions. Sometimes your facial expressions were too casual, too informal. Okay, sir. It can okay, help. too much smiling. Your smile is good. Thank you. But only light smile. Okay, sir. And in case, you know, suppose you don't go to ask for questions. Yes, sir. There's no harm in saying uh, I'm not aware. Okay, sir. You don't have to uh, say I think and then ask. Because what you think cannot be what could uh, be right. Yes, sir. So, there's no harm in saying I'm, I'm not aware. But whatever are your uh, inputs that you have given in your uh, life, I should for those you have to be crystal clear. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. One last thing really, which I would like to say is do you intend to uh, repeat this attire in the day of interview? Sir, I can go for any changes if you wish. Uh, okay, uh, one slight addition which I would like to see is your watch. Sir, no, this is this is different. This is just no, to come. Man. Sir, this is to just to come. I, I came on the time, so this is just for today. Actually, they do not allow also the wrist watch. They take there it off. There is no watch. Yes, sir. But this would definitely. Yes, sir. This be looks. This is a right. wrist. So if you are coming to an interview, about yes, sir. In UPC also, you are not allowed to wear a yes, watch. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you should take away. Yes, sir. Definitely, I'll try to. Stand and go for any mock interviews. Yes, sir. Any yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. You know, Thank you, sir. Work on the feedbacks yes and then we'll be getting to thank you sir. Thank, you. thank you very much all the best thank all you very much sir.